Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. There were two uh, young men in the city of Riyadh. Both of them uh, fasting, but they didn't pray. So what they did, they spent all days, you know, in sleeping. After Fajr, they sleep until almost Maghrib. Then at night, something they went to the beach, watching movie, you know, no Quran, no Masjid. Just like that. Until the day before Eid, both of them, they went to the title. So on that time, you know, we have to sew you know, in order to have new clothes. And they asked the title, make sure that in early morning on the Eid, the their clothes will be ready. Right. So that they went there in the evening and then they went home. Of course as usual, you know, they slept after Fajr. And then after Dohor, one of the parents of them wake them up. Wake one of them wake them up. Hey, wake up, wake up. I say, oh, what, why, why, why? You know, look at the time. It's, it's only the whole time. You have to wake up because your best friend, you're going to have funeral now after the door. I say, what? My friend? And then he missed his name. Yeah, he passed away this morning. And he was shocked. He was frozen. He said, oh God, this could have, this could be happened to me. Right? Ramadan, no Quran, no Masjid. And then he died. What happened had this happened to me? So he started crying. And then they start repenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now he changed. Alhamdulillah. Right. As Rasulullah SAW mentioned that death is a reminder. So therefore when somebody died, you know, he said what? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We belong to Allah and to Him we return. Why say we? It should be He belong to Allah because He died. And to Him He returned. But Allah asked us to say we because you are next. Uh, and to him you're going to return also. So that means we have to be prepared. That guy who died, he didn't know they're going to die. If he know, he will spend all her time in Ramadan in worship. Right? So therefore it's not important when and where we die. Because nobody knows. The important is how do we die? Right? Uh, so, because death, there is no reason. People sometimes misunderstood. Why he died? Oh, because he's too old. No, the young people died. Why he died? Oh man, because he was sick. Someone in good health and he died. Right? Yeah. And remember that death is not the end. That is the beginning. If that's the end, like animal, is good. Right? And according to Quran, many people, when they die, ask Allah one thing. What's that? Qala Rabbi rijiun, la'anni a'manu saliha. Allah, please bring me back. So I can pray five times a day. I can do this, this but it's too late. Nobody dies, come back alive. Allah give you always one change. Right? So therefore, you know, we have to be prepared. We have to invest for our future. Because in Surah Yasin said, وَنَقْتُمَا قَدَّمُوا وَآثَارَهُمْ Allah said, we record whatever you send forth. That means like, every day, like you send the email. 
So when you die, you will see all this. And they said, وَآثَارُهُمْ And what you left behind. It means, maybe that good deed you said it is not enough to bring you to Jannah. But you left behind. Right? Like in the Hadith said, when the son of Adam died, everything cut off except three. So So don't forget to give charity to the masjid. Or school. Or ilm in yuntafawbi. You have knowledge, teach the other. Practice the knowledge. They be not rejoined to die. Right? And then waladun saleh. Righteous son. He didn't say son. Righteous one. Who make dua for him. Yeah? So you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us husna khatima. Yeah? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.